Last week, we looked at the extension points that Microsoft has wired into the link to SQL classes and how they can be used to achieve some of the capabilities of the business logic layer in a multi-layered architecture. We saw that this feature allows us to modify the data as it's coming in and out of the database up to the presentation layer, or from the presentation layer down to the database. But what about the times when what you really want is another field in your row, another field that's based on the other fields in the database, or even another field in your row that's based on a completely different table? Well, you actually have two choices. Uh, you could obviously create a SQL statement that computes the columns for you, or you could add a property to your link to SQL classes that computes the value for you. I mean, after all, it's a partial class. We can add other things to it. So you remember from last week, we have our grid view and our data source, and we go in here and configure our data source, you'll see that right now we just have some regular fields in our database. What we're going to do is go over here to our partial data class that we created last week. This is the same one where we did the onload statement. Right, and we put the brackets around it. What we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and add another property. So public string, and we're going to call this full name. Get. First name plus last name. And now, let's just go ahead and compile that just to make sure that uh, the ID you can see it. And of course, make sure I didn't make any stupid errors. All right, now we're going to go back to our SPX file and we're going to reconfigure our data source. And you'll see that it's now added full name. Uh, to our grid view. Go ahead and finish that. Regenerate. Full name shows up over there. And we're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and do it. Delete selected stuff that we did last week. And let's go ahead and run this. Now, because we only have a get property there, when we go ahead and edit, you're going to see that full name doesn't give us an edit field. It knows it's read only uh, and it will not allow us to edit that field. So the first thing we see here is we do have full name. I should have put a space in there, but you get the idea. And if we go in and edit, you see we've got all the edit fields there. If we scroll over to full name, you'll see there's no edit field there. So that's just another way that you can go ahead and modify the link to SQL classes uh, to serve your pers purposes as uh, a business logic layer in SQL, uh, link to SQL classes.